So this time let's check the frequency response of this antenna A 4 element Shiagi with a folded dipole driven elements This is the not the usual Yagi that I'm doing Because I usually post Yagi with a gamma match This one is a client requirements for this project So as a requirement of the pro of the client, I have to follow what he needs and design it to the frequency of operation as requested. So this is this uh, designed to operate on 163 or 164 megahertz to 174 megahertz with the transmit frequency. <coughs> excuse me on 168.55 megahertz and the receive frequency on 171.05 uh, megahertz so let's check the antenna configuration as usual we have the elements mounting so this is the folded driven elements so the design of the <coughs> folded driven element uh, and the matching system is integrated to the folded elements uh, I use a 75 ohm coax to match the impedance of the antenna to reduce the usual impedance of the folded dipole to the acceptable level so I'm using a uh, one wavelength of 75 ohm coax to match the antenna. Let's check the other side. So, as we can see, this is the end of the folded dipole where the uh, feed point is attached. So, now. Let's check the frequency response of this, of this antenna. Uh, but before that, I'm using a PL259 connector with straight connector because I have not found an SO239 female connector to directly couple it to the coaxial cable. So let's check now the frequency response of the antenna. This is now connected to my antenna analyzer. It's raining here on my place, so and there's a birthday party on the other side of the street. That's why the very loud sound. So as we can see here, the intended frequency of operation is on the screen 168.55 megahertz. Our SWR is 1.47 or 1.5. So let's move the cursor of the antenna analyzer. So this one is the impedance at 64 or 65 ohms, reactance at 17.91 ohms, resistive load 62 ohms, reactance at my uh, that's react reactance still. This is the return loss or S11 carb at minus 14.45 dB. So let's go back to BSWR and check the transmit frequency. So this one should move to 0 and 71. So at 171.6, we have 1.6 BSWR, which is very much acceptable for this type of antenna. So let's check the individual frequency response. 171.5 is 1.6. That is the receive frequency. And the transmit frequency 168.55 so as requested this 
is very acceptable to the design frequency for this type of antenna with a VSWR of 1.4 antenna return loss of minus 14 dB and 1.6 VSWR on the receive frequency so that's it thank you for watching and until the next antenna build this is ready for shipping and going to Rodriguez Rizal.